Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to create your own mobile application without code and you aren't quite sure what's the best service for you, in today's video, I'm going to be covering my top seven favorite mobile application builders that do not require any code. So let's go ahead and get started because these are my top picks for 2021 and 2022. Now, jumping straight in, what meets the criteria for this? Well, you're going to notice first and foremost, most, if not all of these, allow you to publish to the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store, which is probably a big one for most of you out there. Second, I'm trying to make these as affordable as possible. So I'm trying to avoid services that could cost five to $10,000, mainly focusing on the price point between um, absolutely free, which is the only service, uh, which is this AppGyver platform here, all the way up to about 200 to $300 a month, and then everything in between. Most of these are falling between, I would say, 30 and $100 a month. So I'm trying to find these that are gonna be most affordable for people looking to just do this as a hobby or maybe start a business. Now, I have detailed reviews on each of these seven services. Links are in the description. Today, I'm mainly focusing on basic features and pricing, and I will be covering these in order. So most favorite to least. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. So jumping straight in, I have seven services I'm going to review. If you've looked at my channel, you're probably going to know my favorite by far is AppGyver for one specific reason. It is the only one that I've been able to find that is completely free. So in all of these, I will be covering pricing and features, but AppGyver is one that allows you to build a mobile app for Android and iOS completely free without needing to know any code. Now I call this kind of a hybrid. It's it's sort of a low code platform, but you can also do it with no code as well. Now it is a little bit more technical. So if you're wanting to build something basic that sends and receives data, you're going to have to know a little bit more on the tech side of things as far as setting up APIs and working with databases. But if you're wanting to make something simple for free, this is a great option. So you'll see right here, Composer Pro is free for life. So if you look at my channel, I actually have a playlist walking through I believe it's about three and a half to four hours of building a mobile app and publishing it to Google Play completely free outside of just paying for the store fees for Google Play or uh, the Apple App Store. Now, as far as features, it's a pretty feature rich platform. So the idea is you have a standard WYSIWYG editor. So what you see is what you get. So you're basically drag and dropping different things into the application. So you'll have this side over here. Like most of these platforms, you'll drag a feature over and you can build your mobile application. The middle will look like the user interface. The right has additional settings. There's a lot more to it. But you can basically build these native performance apps. They have tons of logic, APIs, so you can actually be in control of your entire platform. And best part is they allow you to export the APK file, which means you're in control of everything. So with that APK file, you can go export that, bring it into something like, for example, if you wanted to bring it into Android Studio, you can do so. And you have tons of different components. So overall, is it a little bit more complicated? Yes. But for something that's completely free and gives you basically total control, I don't think that you can go wrong at least trying this out. And at the very least, you can build an MVP, so a minimum viable product, and then either hand that off to a development team or maybe just build it elsewhere. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. Next up is MOBA Roller. The main reason I recommend this platform is because they give you the ability to put a widget or a function in your app to pull up a website. So it's this HTML component. So this is one of the cheaper services. It's not as feature rich as some of the others out there. However, because you have the ability to add in that HTML page, that means that you can essentially load websites in the application. And from my understanding of this platform, this is their way of overcoming not having all of the features all of the other mobile application platforms out there have. So if you're wanting an Android and iOS application for $30 a month, if you throw in that web page viewer, then you can go develop a website separately using really any of those like GoDaddy type platforms where you can build the website with a template and it's affordable. So let's just say you go find your own service elsewhere that's 10 to 20 a month, gives you your own website, 
then you could throw that into this template and then essentially your mobile app will connect to that website, use all the features of that website, but it's still more affordable than most of the others out there. And the other important piece is it gives you access to the same information so you can give people that website or your app and it's shared information between the two. There are tons of other things you can do here as well. So you have your push notifications, unlimited design templates, advanced analytics. So for $30 a month or 50 a month for the business package, this is incredibly affordable. It does allow in-app purchases and a ton of other really cool features. And just to be honest, this is probably one of the most affordable platforms I've seen for Android and iOS. So this is going to be my second favorite for that reason. They overcome the lack of features with that HTML or web page function in the application. So I would definitely recommend checking them out as they're doing a ton of different discounts. Next up is Appy Pie. Now, this one is a little trickier because you have to read the fine print with their website. So you'll see all of these different things in their pricing page. So you'll see basic gold platinum. The one thing to note with most of these web development services is if we scroll all the way down here, you'll see that you don't get to remove the Appy Pie branding on any of these three tiers. So if you were to pay 60 a month for platinum, you're going to get the premium services, you're gonna get a mobile app for Android and iOS. However, if you go down here and you read the fine print, you'll notice that you can opt in for the add-on package, which is two times your current plan price. With no Appy Pie branding, unlimited resubmissions. These are amazing features to essentially have them take care of the harder parts like publishing to the Apple App Store, unlimited notifications, dedicated account manager, um, account manager. Those are great features. However, the downside is you have to pay essentially $120 if you want to remove that Appy Pie branding. So it's almost like, I don't know, to me, I just don't really like how that pricing page is set up. But this is probably one of the most feature rich platforms out there, which is why I'm putting it in third place because I've used it previously. I built somewhat of a social media app with it, used it for a couple months, liked the platform. Um, I just didn't really think that it was best for me, especially with the cost and everything else. So um, I've been looking for other platforms and other builders. So overall, solid experience with this. Just make sure that you look at what the premium features are. Again, check out the link in the description where I actually walk you through what it's like setting up an account with Appy Pie and building an application. So that just covers the basic pricing and then you can check out their app maker features and all the different things that they have. They have features for creating dating sites or dating applications. They have features for creating um, basically like social media websites or applications. There's just a very, very solid platform. Now, next up, we're going to go to the last four, which honestly, App Institute and the Andromo site are tied in my opinion, but we'll go through the pricing for both and kind of explain why. So you'll see for App Institute, we have pricing and we have three across the board. So I'll show you the features. So you have reseller, which is basically you're creating applications for other people, and then you're going to be selling those. You have business unlimited, business extra, business light. So most people are going to want Android and iOS. So you'll see you have that here for 59 a month. And then you'll see that you get the Google Play Android listing and App Store listing, professional app review and submission service, which is great. Um, it's easy to post to Google Play. I actually have a video on my channel about that if you wanna check it out. The Apple App Store is a little bit more complicated to walk through that process. Having a progressive web app is great. And uh, then email and live support, et cetera. So, you'll see that you're probably going to want to opt for the middle tier if you're interested in really just having advanced analytics and really trying to get your audience in. So this will give you more active users, push notifications. The main reason that I'm putting this further down the list is it's pricier and for 500 active monthly users, to me personally, I just don't see it making much sense to have $92 a month to be billed while, and that's for the annual plan for 500 users. If you're gonna create a mobile app, you want that application to be used by a large audience. So just a couple of thoughts here, but you can check out their features and everything else that they have. They have tons of different options. Um, so it's still a solid builder overall, but I just think that they're a little limited, especially for the price that they're charging. Next up, we have Andromo. 
So um, I like Andromo uh, for a couple of different reasons. Number one is pricing. So you'll see you can have all these different projects. They list their storage up front, which I like. You don't have to go hunt down the pricing and things of that nature. They do have AdMob listed, which is great to see. No branding, which is huge. So you'll see for $21 a month, you can publish to Google and Amazon. If you want to go to any other platform, then you're going to need to upgrade. So you'll see right here on this side, build apps for Android and iOS for 36 a month. So this pricing may look familiar. It's right up there with mobile roller except mobile roller is 30 a month so i would say that this one's just a i mean it's obviously a little bit more expensive so for this i would really just want to recommend that you go through check out the different features to see what makes the most sense for you because 100 gigs of storage even for a social media app unless you're planning to scale to the size of let's just say facebook or instagram that's quite a bit of storage and the fact that they have photo stock access firebase authentication this gives you a lot of control of your application. So it's definitely something to consider. Then we have Thunkable. So for Thunkable, you get two downloads a month. They do have a free plan. You have business and enterprise. So if we just click on personal plans, you'll see the different options here. So the different projects, 25 downloads for the middle tier. This is probably where most people are going to start. So $150 a year is not terrible. You get a bunch of different projects, a private project. You can learn more about this. The reason that I really like Thunkable is this is a platform where they really want to bring people together. So Thunkable is, as you can tell, you have projects and private projects. You have the ability to share a ton and it's designed to be a community. So you have this logic structure that you can build out. I have the, again, the review in the link or in the comment box below. So you can check out the description, um, but there's a ton of different really cool features and setting up, for example, the Firebase login authentication. I have a dedicated video for that on my channel. So they have some really, really cool features, but they have an awesome community as well, where you can just connect with other people and talk about building these applications. Now, I will say when you're looking at this, for the 38 a month, that's where you can publish to the app uh, and play store. So this is Android and iOS, if I'm not mistaken. So you'll see that these have AdMob integration and some pretty cool features. And you'll get unlimited downloads. Um, now one gig account storage, 50 private projects. This is probably the lowest storage available, for, especially for the cost. So for this, I would recommend making sure that you don't have a heavy media intensive application. If you're storing tons of videos or doing any kind of social media type of application, this probably is not going to work for you. So you may want to connect with them and see if you can get more storage. And then lastly is Buildfire. Now, the reason I made this last is primarily cost. So this review or this video is designed to be towards most people out there that are just looking to create a mobile application of their own accord, maybe you decided, you know what, I wanna start my own business or whatever the case is. But $159 a month billed annually is just a very, very expensive, it's just very expensive for all of these app builders. Now, I will say Buildfire is one of the top tiers as far as the features and all the different things that they have. You'll see security and access, integrations, app experience, analytics, notifications. They This is probably the most or one of the most feature rich platforms. The downside is you're spending a ton of money before you even really truly have experienced the platform. So if you were to go to another platform, for example, uh, let's just say Appy Pie. You pay for a month or two. If you're paying that sixty or eighty dollars a month or whatever the cost is, that's much more affordable. If the application doesn't work out, you haven't spent too much. But with this, after a couple of months, especially if you go annually, you're locked into a very very expensive platform. So you have a ton of features, as you can see. This is they really like to list out everything that they're offering. But again, the downside is the overall cost so this is one of the most feature rich platforms if this is something that works for you and your budget then i would recommend you know definitely trying it out but i always recommend and i personally always default to appgiver because it gives you the ability to create an app for free play around with a kind of like a mobile development platform that doesn't use code see what you like what you don't like because when you're building an application 
you need to make sure that this can scale with you, your business needs. So if you get something that only has one gig of storage, you go through the process you, and then you find out, you know what, this builder doesn't work for me and you decide to switch, it may not be that easy. For example, if you jump into mobile roller and you build a mobile application and then you jump to, let's just say, build fire, all of your content may not be a seamless transfer because you're essentially accountable for a large portion of the process. So it's possible that something could connect and they could get this set up, but it's also very, very likely that you could have to start from scratch and rebuild a lot. So I would just make sure that you plan as much as possible for where you see your application being in the future and choose your service accordingly. So again, these are essentially in order, so I'll just scroll back up through. I know this video was more about the pricing because I feel like that's the most important thing for many people, but my top app platforms or application development platforms in order. So we have AppGyver for the fact that it's free and it has a ton of features and you can connect with Firebase uh, or other backend databases, which are usually free and then scale up as the cost or the cost scales up as the usage goes up. Mobile Roller is probably the most affordable platform. Then you have AppyPy for the most affordable feature rich. Uh, App Institute, just because they have a ton of really cool services and features, but again, it's a little costly. Then you have Andromo for the cost and features, then Thunkable, and lastly, Buildfire because it's the most expensive but has a ton of really cool features.